Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and here I'm with my new video in Salesforce development. And the topic for today's video is that how can we create or how can we add multiple contacts to an account using Visual Force pages. So the idea behind this requirement is that recently we got a requirement. There we have to add multiple uh, candidates, multiple inquiries, or multiple leads to a specific campaign using Visual Force pages. So therefore, we decided to demonstrate you this requirement in the form of an example. And uh, so therefore, we prepared this video. And here, what we are going to do is, let me show you the live example here. As you can see, it's a Visual Force page. And this Visual Force page got two sections basically in one section we would be adding a new account and uh, in second section i would be adding new contacts and here i can add multiple contacts so i have an option to add as many as contacts as i want and uh, once we fill up all the required details and click on save button first an account will be created and then uh, all its associated contacts will be created and if you want to delete any contact from here we can do that so let me show you one example first so i created one account called bisp solutions i n c and uh, i'm just inserting a phone number one two three four five six seven eight contact number and uh, email i'm just adding one more contact here as Kamal. Kumar, contact email kamal at the rate yahoo.com and now when i click on save button it will redirect me to thank you page and which mentioned that the record has been inserted successfully now let me go back to my accounts and see whether this record is inserted so as you can see a new record has been inserted or new account has been inserted here and when i click on that account i can see a list of all its associated contacts so you can see we, there are two contacts I have inserted. So that's the idea behind or that's the requirement we used to get. So let's see how we have built this application, built this Visual Force page. So we have taken help of wrapper classes here because as you know that wrapper classes can store, can handle, uh, it can hold the elements of different types. So that's a wrapper class. And here there's an integer counter and a contact. And we created a wrapper class constructor. Along with every new contact we are inserting, one counter is added to that. So basically, uh, it's like that every new record we are inserting, every new contact we are adding, it's uh, one new unique number will be added. And why that's so? So that anytime if you want to delete it, just to identify that which uh, which number contact we would like to remove and for this we would be using one counter variable or uh, we are using one variable for counting that and that variable is called marker and the records will be only submitted successfully when user fill all the required fields and we have used extension over here extension add units and standard controller and we added two different page blocks one page block is to capture to capture account information from the user and another page block for capturing the contact details from the user and we got uh, the records from there and it will repeat the list of contacts and list of contacts will hold it's an instance of your wrapper class list wrapper l, con l contacts so the number of contacts, every time we click on add contact, it will add a new instance in that list. A number will be assigned and this page get refreshed and it will, dis it will display that particular newly added instance over here. In similar manner, when we delete a contact, it will remove that on that particular con list, uh, list uh, that particular contact instance from the list and the whole page get refreshed and uh, the remaining contact instance will be visible here and uh, so that's the way and we use this add contact method so as uh, this is a custom action 
and in add contact and save contact so in add contact we would be increasing the records one by one and we are increasing a new we are adding a new instance into list along with along with and in save contact first of all we insert the account and and then we extract the id from there and that id we stored along with the newly inserted contact newly created record and finally we redirect it to thank you page so uh, like this we can insert multiple contacts to one account so we can clearly state that the, all the contacts we are going to mention here those contacts are linked with this particular account so that's the way we can insert multiple record multiple child instance of a single parent record this conference will now be recorded so that's all in this video if you have some queries you can post your comments in comment box you can get the code you can get the code from the given link along with this video you can contact with us for the customized training on salesforce thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye